Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again. Welcome back to another movie review, AK After I Saw. This time it's going to be on The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Quite a long title, and it was kind of hard for me to remember it, but I was able to remember it this time. Uh, this film is based upon recently the classified files of the British War Department and inspired by true events. This movie is an action comedy that tells the story of the first ever special forces organization uh, formed during World War II by UK Prime Minister Winston Churchill and a small group of military officials including author Ian Fleming, no joke, uh, the top secret combat unit composed of a motley crew of rogues and mavericks goes on a daring mission against the Nazis using an entirely unconventional, ungentlemanly uh, fighting techniques. Ultimately, their audacious approach changed the course of the war and laid the foundation for the British SAS and modern black ops warfare. And this film is directed by Guy Ritchie, who uh, I think is a decent director, but I don't really find many of his films that rewatchable. In at least the movies that he makes nowadays, um, the gentleman I've rewatched multiple times, and I think that's his best work in quite a while. Uh, still, like I, I had a lot of fun watching that movie. So I feel like what Guy Ritchie does, he definitely tends to focus more on fun rather than telling engaging enough stories. Because while this is based off uh, a true story, uh, one that I was really surprised to know that Ian Fleming was behind. And it's pretty much what inspired, you know, his creation of James Bond. And while I definitely found myself enjoying uh, most of my time with the film, I definitely do feel like, like some of his other films, like I mentioned before, like Wrath of Man, The Covenant, I thought they were enjoyable films, but I didn't really find myself re-watching them in the future. Maybe if they're just like on TV and I'm like scrolling through something and hey, hey, that movie's on. Yeah, in case I'm, like, you know, busy with doing other stuff. I feel the same with this film as well. And while, yeah, the opportunity of making a film based on a true story and going fully deeper into that, this one is more comedic than being, like, fully serious. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is serious in certain parts. Like, the way the characters uh, interact, like, it definitely does tend to have its serious moments. But in terms of its humor, I did find uh, some of the humor to be chuckle-worthy here and there, but it's not like a laugh-out-loud uh, comedy action film like Hot Fuzz or anything like that. And in terms of the characters, I thought they were pretty good, not like super well-written or anything. Uh, Henry Cavill plays the main lead, which I'm not really surprised by because he starred in a lot of these types of movies, and I can definitely say I enjoyed this more than Argyle, which he was barely in, and that movie tried making out like he was one of the main leads. But, 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 yeah, and in terms of the action, it is pretty violent for the most part, which is something that you come to expect. With a title like, you know, a film with warfare in the title, you would expect quite a bit of action. And yeah, there is quite a bit of it. And I would probably put this in the war film category. I mean, there is definitely uh, a big portion of this movie that definitely does make it feel like it aims to more of a war film genre. Nothing like Save it Pri Saving Private Ryan or anything like that. I just like other war films that you're probably familiar with. I can't really say that, you know, this movie has moments that I'm just going to remember forever because there are often times I do feel like the movie was a little too long and the pacing could have been a bit better. Um, maybe shaved off like maybe 15 minutes and would have been perfectly fine. But still, despite what I'm saying about the film, I don't really think it's a bad film. Like I said, it's fun to watch and sometimes I feel like, you know, Guy Ritchie does tend to put more fun into his films rather than going fully serious. And while this is based off a serious event, I don't feel like Guy Ritchie tends to go fully serious. When oftentimes I feel like it really should because, well, yeah, I just feel like Guy Ritchie just tends to have fun with this film and not really just focus too much on the topics that he's uh, going on in terms of the true events. So yeah, it's not really a film worth rewatching in my opinion, but I did think it was a good enough uh, one-time watch. It's fun enough, uh, performances are strong, and uh, characters, they're, they're good. Yeah, I did find myself enjoying most of my time. When it came to the action, it is fun. Like, I thought the opening act was very strong, and for the most part, I thought what Guy Ritchie did put into most of this film was interesting enough. So yeah, it's good for a one-time watch, but just like some of his other films, I don't really feel like there's too much 
to them that's rewatchable, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, Boy Kills World and uh, Challengers. Um, I heard Challengers was really good. I'm really looking forward to that one. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.